Hey everybody, this is Chris Petraki, and in my last tutorial I covered value layer thumbs where we came up with a strategy of using limited values and a hierarchy of simple shapes to create compelling quick thumbnails. So let's, um, this image here is from the last tutorial. So what I thought we would do is take it to a finished level. So let's go ahead and see what we can come up with. What I want to do is, I think, separate this out right here. For now, shift command J, <clears throat> take it out. And let's just reduce that size a little bit and take this silhouette here and break it up. put it on its own layer, shift command J, and then merge it, command E with this one, okay. And we can level that just a little bit, make it a little bit lighter. I think that's gonna create some levels, of, um, levels of space in the picture plane. Just pushing it a little bit more, give it a little more depth. And then I want to take this and maybe kind of create some interesting, hopefully, a little bit silhouette there. I want to paint that. Okay. Hide it. And let's erase out a little bit what we don't like. Let's get a hard brush here. Just create a little interesting silhouette. down a little bit okay all right and then I also want to go ahead and take this edge maybe make it a little more Hopefully a little more interesting. <clears throat> Maybe there's some, just something we can do with the silhouette there. And then on this side, Let's do a little something on this. Just gonna create a little, maybe a little rock, something. Just give it a little more interesting shape, a little more organic. Okay. Good. Just adjusting this a little bit. Flipping it. Okay. 
Now let's take this layer out and open up that sky a little bit. And why don't we put in a sky? So let's look for a sky here. If we can find a basic sky. It's maybe something like that. Okay. Okay, and I don't want it to be a smart object. So I want to rasterize the layer. Okay. And let's just take part of this here. Shift Command J, put on its other new layer, take this, throw it away, and move this up here, stretch it out. <clears throat> Warp it. Get a little more dramatic, maybe. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put it there. And take the color out. Lighten it up quite a bit. So we get a, an impression of a sky. There's something on one of these layers here that I want to take out. It's going to lasso that, delete it. Okay. Let's move this guy a little bit around. Compress it a little bit. All right, maybe that's good. <clears throat> gonna lighten up the lighten it up a little bit. I want it to stay in the background. Okay. And maybe we can take this and just change it up a little bit, make it a little more dynamic. Mm. Want those things to kind of zigzag against each other, maybe. Let's just copy some of this stuff. Oh, current layer. Just sample current layer. Okay. Now take this and maybe add something a little bit to it to make it. I don't know. No. Let's try it again. Let's just fill that. Nope. Fill it, hide it. Okay, it's a little more interesting, maybe. And let's move it down a little. Okay. Just fill this in here. Okay. And then let's lighten those clouds a little bit. A little too just 
distracting. Just bring up the lights a little bit. Bring up the mids. Just so we can see that mountain thing a little bit better. Move it down. Okay. Let's lasso out some of this stuff. Some of this extra pixel noise here. And just cut into it a little bit more. Delete it. All right. Still not happy with it. Let's try one more thing. Let's just give it a little classic mountain peak. Okay. Command D. All right. And I want to push that back. So Command U, lighten it up just a little bit. Push it way back in the background. Okay, good. Save it. Okay. Now what can we do? This layer is nothing, so let's throw it away. Also, this is nothing. Get rid of that. Okay. There's the figure. Does nothing. Get rid of that. Okay. That could be another level here in between. That. And here we can just uh, take get a new layer, clip it, and then paint some maybe some texture into it. And oops, is it clipping? I don't know why it's clipping that. Let's click into it, select it, hide it. Don't want to create too much. Let's go into my tools and click. See if we can find some a rock. Rocks. Something like that. Give it some texture and a little bit of. Oops. I'm gonna go a little darker. Okay, right there. Just want it to just be there. And maybe it'll have just a little bit of, <clears throat> can select in here and maybe just call it create a little bit of a rim light opportunity here. Hide it, brush. Not sure. Zoom out. And possibly deselect. Erase out some of this. And let's just let's just get a airbrushy soft round and create a little bit of space between the foreground and this thing. Okay, that's good. As I kind of zoom out, it has a good graphic read, it kind of holds and it's not, not confusing. Right now, flip it. Okay, let's uh, click into that. Let's 
click into this one here. Hmm. Okay. So let's move on to this thing. I want to break this up a little bit. Which one is it? This one. Let's erase out a little from this just to break it up a little bit right there. And just a simple and it might be getting just a little bit lighter. So I wanna just catching a little bit more light from above, maybe. select okay hide it zoom in a little bit I just didn't like that edge so I just want to modify it bring it make it a little bit lighter okay and what do we have here? We have some noise here I want to get rid of. Select that layer and just get rid of that. So what I have is, you know, some pretty good control with all the uh, layers separated into their zones, so to speak. And it gives me a lot of control, as you can see. So let's try and put uh, one more thing. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Uh, put a couple more things. So let's grab some <clears throat> some of this. Rasterize it. Okay, and. Um, Let's put it up here. I want to clip that to this layer. Kind of liking, liking some of it, some of it not really liking. But let's just see if we can grab some of this stuff. Shift Command J. Throw away everything else. Take this and stretch it out. See if it'll fit. at all. <clears throat> you can warp it. Because it's just rock. I want to clip it to the layer below it. So option click. And then let's let's try uh, some different layer modes here. Try darken. Darken is pretty cool. Just for starters. Just get a little bit of noise in there. And um wonder if we did something with the level. There we go. Got a little bit of rock impression. That's kind of what I need. Race out some of this stuff. Flip it. Take the color out. Okay, and let's try. Let's try this. I like this kind of stuff. I don't know if we're going to be able to get much out of that. I think there's another one. This one. Okay. Let's take this one. Rasterize it. 
M. Just cut out what I don't want. And start the maybe grabbing some of this stuff. See if we can make that work. <clears throat> Somehow, somewhere, I don't know where. So we'll figure it out. Let's warp it. Clip it, move it around a little bit, and just see, see what it does. If anything, might be cool, might not. Go into layer modes here. Go through some of the stuff. I got to take the color out. Kind of interesting. Maybe that's enough noise. Just, just a little noisy. Um, I want to warp it a little bit. Control brings up the menu. Warp. And then let's just really warp it. Okay, flip it. Now it's a little noisy, but let's double click on it and do option and see if we can let that bottom layer come through a little bit more and just create the impression of a rock there but not a whole heck of a lot we just want the noise there <clears throat> click OK and um, we've got it on overlay let's try soft light too noisy Maybe let's go with darken uh, in your burn. Maybe not enough, so overlay levels. <clears throat> okay. With that. Okay, I'm back. Unfortunately, my machine crashed halfway through the recording process, so I lost half of the process of the painting. So that's okay, we'll just continue on here. So, what I want to do is just continue in the background here and just drag out a shape, maybe a couple of shapes. Let's see here. And I want to get that background plane lying flat. So let's uh, kind of bring the perspective on this. See what we can do. Okay, let's free transform it. Just to see if just to get that ground plane lying flat there. Okay, let's call up another custom shape tool. <clears throat> Maybe it doesn't matter too much what it is. Just something that can lay down flat. And if you drag this thing out in lines, it's actually very, very graphic. Very cool. 
and maybe that's just good enough way to do it for now. Just kind of bring that into perspective a little bit. That looks kind of interesting. As long as it's an interesting shape, it's uh, the right value, then I'm good. So what I want to do is hit the A key, and that's mapped to my smudge tool, and just kind of smudge that horizon line a little bit because it's going to be blurrier back there and not as crisp as uh, the stuff closer to us. So and let's see if we can adjust the value because I need the right shape and the right value. And I want it to, <clears throat> with atmospheric perspective, it's going to uh, lose some of the contrast. And it's not going to be white, white, or black, black. It's just going to sit back there. So let's see. Okay. Um, let's take a little more of the lights out. Just want kind of the impression of just texture in there. Okay, and let's duplicate that and bring it down. Oops. Where is it? Warp it. Try to get it to fit into that space. <clears throat> Race out. What I don't like. Lights out a little bit more. Let's try levels. Shift Command L would be uh, auto level. No, that didn't work. Sometimes it works well. So let's do levels again. Take the lights down. Click OK. I think I want to stretch this out a little bit. Flop it just to see. <clears throat> OK. Let's bring in. I think another part of this one was interesting because it had these rocks. Let's see if we can use these rocks somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to trash that. Bring these rocks out. OK, 
Okay. And I think I want to clip this to this one here. Okay. And we can make it a little smaller. Maybe there can be some rocks in the transition between that horizontal rock and the ground face of the plane that he's standing on. Okay, what I want to do is bring up an adjustment layer. <clears throat> Command I that to inverse it so it makes it invisible. Come back in with a brush and paint back in with white. So command or just letter X to change the color from white from black to white and then paint back in to reveal. Some of this stuff. And then X again to bring up just kind of to erase it out. Okay. Right. Maybe too noisy. I can move it just a little bit. Okay, let's keep painting. Hmm. a little bit. Some of this, I think I want to come in with the burn tool and just burn it as it recedes back into the cave. Let me get some shadows there. Make it look kind of rocky. I think I'll burn the midtones. Often I've just got to go back and forth, back and forth until, you know, I get the right kind of shape, the right stroke, right value and so on. <clears throat> and that just takes some patience. Until you get there. Let's smooth some of this out. Hit the A key and just smooth it a little bit. It was getting too, a little too noisy back there and calling attention to itself. So let's try it again with the burn tool. And let's try it with the soft brush okay let's see if this works 
And now I just want to darken it a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay. Flop that again. I want to get rid of some of this stuff in here. It's looking overall wrong value. So it's popping out. So let's get in here. And see, I'll take the uh, clone stamp tool and just kind of see if I can clone stamp it out. Must be something on another layer. See if I can find it. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. So let's go in and with some more textures and continue on. anywhere might be some have the nice striation to that rock the way that looks and I think we used it here before on the upper part control click to bring up the warp tool okay accept that Move it down a little bit. Okay, I'm going to select this and then inverse the selection and delete what we don't want. Let's <clears throat> bring this down to where it needs to be and then clip it. Maybe it's down here and let's clip it Ooh. that didn't work right but that looks fine let's take an uh, adjustment layer command I to hide it, get a brush, and just start uh, painting it back in with the white color. So hit the X key. I'm going to paint it back in, but first uh, I want to take the color out. Command U. Got to click on the layer. Command U. Desaturate it all the way and now click back on the layer mask, invert the layer mask, and now with the brush, paint back in white. I'm just going to try and hit it here and there. And then hit X again to inverse it, invert to paint out, hit X again, paint back in. Okay. Let's try this brush. Ooh. Okay, I think I want to just bring it down a little bit so we get everything covered. Okay, 
So let's see. Again, it's just back and forth. All right, let's just paint this stuff like that. I'm going to try and um, move this stuff a little bit. So I'm going to take the smudge brush and with a really hard round tip, I'm just going to move this stuff just a little. <clears throat> just so it. Gonna make it look organic. Okay, good. Okay, let's level this here. Well, first I'm gonna take it through the uh, layer modes. So let's shift, click, and the plus. Just go through and see if we can get something pretty quick. That's kind of neat. So there, lighter color, kind of controls the values a bit. And let's go with lighten and then come in with the curves and just come down a little bit. these subtle adjustments here. Hmm. Very interesting, it really flattened that out. Okay, let's just say okay. I don't want to come over to layer mask again and paint some of this stuff. What's behind it here? I think I'm going to come in here and paint something in just here a little bit darker. darken this stuff as it recedes back into the cave or appears to anyway. Quiet this stuff down. Okay. And take the... <clears throat> you know what, I'm going to try something here with selecting this. area and shift F5 will bring up content aware. So I'm going to content aware fill, which hopefully would fill it. Hmm. Let's try it again. Hmm. Let's try this whole area here. Shift F5, click OK. All right, shift F5, okay, nah, not really working for us. So let's take the clone stamp tool and just stamp some stuff in there.
Okay, it's good enough, I think. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to calm that down a little bit with the burn tool. Knock it down a little bit. Okay. Now what I'd like to do is continue <clears throat> take this guy, select him, and bring something in for that and make them a little bit darker. So I'm gonna hide that. Let's take one of these. Hmm, let's take this. See if we can make this work. Or maybe I'll take this stuff, this darker stuff. Shift Command J to put it on its own layer. Where is it? All right, Shift Command J. Throw away the other stuff. Bring this down. And uh, stretch it more a bit. Flip it horizontal. So it's kind of going with the curvature of the rock. And let's clip it. Option click. And go for another rock texture. Maybe this. and move it around into position. Really scale this thing up. See if we can warp this thing. There we go. All right, let's try that. And we need to clip that. It's nothing, we can throw it out. This thing, we can throw it out. Okay. out some of this stuff. <clears throat> A little too light, so I'm gonna level it out. Let's not do let's do it this way.
See if we can catch something quickly doing it this way. If not, we're going to have to get in there and do a little bit more. I wonder, let's try that curves thing again. Clicking this little hand finger icon down here and clicking into an area like these mid-tones that I want to go darker. And without losing the detail, I'm just going to bring it down. Same thing, I could take these darks and go lighter <clears throat> and quiet it down a little bit, but I don't think I want to do that. Let's just click Oops. stuff. Let's darken. Okay, let's try one more thing. Hmm. Rasterize that. Cut out this cool part here. Turn that off. Move it, transform it, stretch it. Let's see if something in here could be cool. And just um, select this white stuff, delete it. this stuff out of there, out of the selection, because I want that. All right. <clears throat> hmm. Left like a little ghosty line here. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. See what we can do with this. Try warping it, moving it. Let's see what we can fun we can have with this. Interesting, but not really sure if it's working. Maybe we can push it even more. To kind of conform to what's already there.
just need something kind of subtle almost like that just like that for that surface had some modeling going on it was a little too flat Combining that. Don't like this repetition of this shape. It looks too much like the cave rock wall right next to it here. Is there anything else? We try something else. Maybe it's good. Gonna push it. To the outside a little bit. I think what I want to do is lose some of those darks. Let's try leveling it. Take some of the black blacks out. Getting hit from some light here. Let's go through these layer modes. Overlay is kind of good. Let's just go with overlay. I'll take this this stuff out. I don't know what it is. Let's take it out. Throw that away. I 
and create like some specularity here. So we're getting that really bright, tight reflection. get a brush and quiet this stuff down here it's a little occlusion shadow there you can't see in and then this stuff needs to be in shadow too and set it off against the background. Let this come out of the shadow. and see what it looks like. to it. Let's clip this off. I don't like those reflections in there. Select it, bring up the stamp tool. So we can just fix that selection in there a little bit. Okay. shadowy, more shadow, and that recess there. this back into the shadow so we don't notice it as much let's try uh
Introducing a little bit of, oops, come on. A little bit of something in there. Flip it. I wonder if we can find a brush that will do what I want it to do inside. This. Let's try bringing up my actions here and load tech brushes. Maybe this one. Maybe something like that. And if we can get it shape dynamics to go direction, then let's try that. Maybe something like that would be cool. Just to Take some of the spacing, crease it. Just give it some interest. edges here that look a little organic okay Take those darks just hit that a little bit. Maybe just take those out. Hit the sky back here. Try if I can find the sky and take these highlights, burn those a little bit just to pop that ship out a little bit. Then take this mountain here, I'm going to try the same thing here, just hit it with a bit of light, so the screen direction is a little clearer, or the lights, or the light direction is more clear. I'm going to take a gradient, just hit it like that, Ooh. let's see if we can do something with that.
I want to take this ground here, work the ground a little bit around the character so that maybe he's got a little shadow. Just take some of this stuff and lighten it up. That's probably good. Okay. Not bad. Might want to take <clears throat> this rock over here. Let's see if we if we darken up that edge a little bit, what happens? Take the burn tool and just take the mid-tones and see what happens. Hmm. Nothing really happening. I'm going to call up a new layer and paint with it on multiply. set those two things apart a little bit more. Not have them competing really. All right. So there it is. I hope that you uh, enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned a lot. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.